Rome was not built in a day. But it was probably constructed a bit faster than my base, because boy has this taken forever. And that is the point of today's episode. I want to make some massive base progress. There's nothing else to do but to just get to it, I guess. So now that we got all of the cobblestone laid out, very nice path straight up to that area. Very nice path straight into there. I think now we need to clear out the bottom right here. All of these birch trees. Three, two, one. Wham. Ow. Hey. Ow. So what I'm going to work on now is I'm just going to get these corners built up. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to do this. Oh boy, this is going to be, this is going to be a task. Let's get to building. All right, and the one side of the bridge is finally done. And uh, uh, so is the other side as well. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I realized that I didn't I didn't record it, but it, it wasn't that interesting. It was exactly the same thing as, as the first side. Um, and I have actually made a few changes. Um, I spruced up the inside of this a little bit. I changed that. Uh, I added these like leaf vine things on the sides of the bridge, which I think adds some color that was desperately needed. All right, with the bridge done, we can finally, potentially, maybe, possibly start work on the main hall. This is going to be where the the head of the table is, right? This is going to be... It's going to be a little higher up, you know, I, I want the seat to be a little higher, but it's going to be where the throne is. We're going to have big pillars and I kind of want to have, you know, if, if I'm going to have this big dome and there's going to be a special part of it um, and there's going to be probably a big chandelier, um, you know, lots of big tall windows um, and it's going to be really, really cool. But to make that. Um, I do need to actually build the exterior first. So, let's do that, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> and we've got actually this entire main, all the walls are done of the main building here. And it looks, it looks honestly, it looks great. Um, I'm very happy with this. Now, I still need to do all of the inside and the dome. Um, so it, we still got a lot of work to do, but I have a plan. You're not supposed to be here. And the dome. 
It's going to be very important. Anyways, time to build the dome. And that is about two thirds of the exterior completely done. I made a few minor changes to the outside. Um, I added a end rod and some like lanterns and stuff, an end rod and a lightning rod on top here, covered by the uh, beacon beam. The tree here was completely spur of the moment. I had no plans to make a tree here, but I'm glad I made a tree there because <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> This is an absolutely incredible effect, by the way. Gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, I also did the entire interior of the library. I kind of got carried away. And I was just like, you know what, let's just do the library. Um, I've got a lot of decorations here. I've got bookshelves all over the place. So many books, uh, bookshelves and stuff went into this. It was absolutely insane. But, um, and I got a bunch of chisel bookshelves too, but I think overall it has turned out quite well. Um, and then of course over here, you've got the level 30 enchanter. Uh, I can't show you that's level 30, but it is a level 30 enchanter, I assure you. But anyways, there's still a huge chunk of this to complete before I can sign off for the episode. We have this entire area here, which is going to be the main bedroom. So let's go in three in two, in one, a whoop, zoop. All right, there we go. Thing, well, I say everything, but the exterior, well, I say the exterior, but <laughs> the building itself is done. It's, uh, it's done. And don't worry, I know that looks ugly right now. I'm gonna have leaves hanging over it, so it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, and there is my bed. Where the beds are going to be. First, I'm going to focus on the inside of the bedroom. Uh, just for kicks and giggles. First map. That's actually a pretty nice place to have the map. That's perfect. Holy cow. This might actually work out really well. This is going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. Holy moly guacamole. It's the perfect map. And this is great, honestly. I was kind of worried about how it would turn out. Um, but this is, this is shaped up really nicely. There's another thing that I want to do before I do the throne room. And that is the roof over there. I want to get all of the garden space done and stuff. And that's where I'm going to put like my little potato patch, my little carrot patch, my little beetroot patch. Uh, I'm going to put a little pumpkin patch there now since I switched this out from pumpkin to melon. Which, by the way, holy cow, that's working. Two, three, five. Sweet berries.
It actually looks really nice. Let's let's get a let's get an aerial view on this. Yeah, yeah. I just want to have some uh, vegetation hanging out over the edge there, and it's gonna be really nice looking. So that way, I can keep it looking bright and beautiful. This can go. Hang it from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that's not too bad. I actually kind of, I, I actually kind of, I rate that. That's, that's good. Now back to the actual, from the final part of this giant building. Well, until we get underground. But, so, here we go. I've changed how the beacon works. I have a full set of beacons. So I've got regen and speed one. And I'm going to have to get... Uh, another beacon to put in there. That's why I have this, uh, but we'll do that after. The first thing I want to do is actually make some chain lights. And it's actually a pretty good start. And I also want to grab something with this. I just want to make this go all the way down. The other thing I want to implement are some carpets and then kind of just curve in and there you go. There is our carpet it goes all the way around and then we'll have the throne right there. That's going to be really cool. I like this already. Next, the wall of mob heads. With that. Uh, and there's probably a few more things I can put on shelves. There we go. Rabbit sky. And we're missing, missing, um, solely and lagging. Okay, so let's get Pokey's head, Sassy's head, Mad's head, Sky's head. Like I said. Muse head. There we go. There's all of the echo heads, except for two of them that I'm missing. Um, that goes on that wall. That's perfectly fine. Uh, that's pretty good. That's great. That's awesome beautiful yeah yeah crap yeah yeah and I need something for that I need something for that what do I put there and that might actually go higher soon so uh don't worry about that. This all looks great. Now, there's this and the throne. And I feel like I want to do the throne last. So, let's go kill some withers. Are you ready? Let's go. Withering Heights. Oh, no. Hey, come this way. That's might be easier, but... Wow, I don't need nearly that much room. Okay, yeah, can you stop now? Ten seconds! Hey, come back down here. Hey, come down here. Come down here. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. This is not, this has not gone well at all. No, 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 it really hasn't. It really has not gone well. I need you to come down here. Alright, get over here now. Okay. Are starting to run now. Yeah. 
Okay, well. We got everything we needed out of that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put that there. Yeah, and it's just a decorative piece, you know. I, I can't have the whole beacon up here because it'll be ugly, but I can't have nothing up here because it's just a beam going through. So I'm just kind of under the impression that this is the beacon that's providing this beam. But now it's throne time. Alright, let's just add that and that. That is the throne. Let me just uh, let me just take a look look see here. You walk in, there you go, and there's me on my throne. And you can see me from over there. Yeah, and it's a pretty nice view from the throne as well. This is exactly, exactly what I wanted. That is gorgeous. And so is the rest of this amazing build. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Echo Craft Season 5. If you did enjoy it, uh, Please consider subscribing, it really helps me out. And if you haven't already, go watch the rest of the Echocraft videos. Uh, they have their own playlist in my channel, and I'll, uh, the end card will have, will have one of the last ones. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.